Okay, so this first video here is going to be um, how to paint yellow. Um, a lot of people have problems with that because yellow is so thin, it, it really doesn't cover anything very well. Um, <clears throat> and how to get a solid coat of that. Um, and I'm going to do the yellow first because that's how I paint mine. And then um, if you, that's all you want, that's great. Um, if you want to see how I paint my Emperor's Canaries Space Marine chapter from start to finish, then um, just keep watching when I get done with the yellow onto the other colors. Okay, here's some of my Emperor's Canaries to kind of give an idea of what they look like. Um, they're yellow and orange and black mostly. Um, I'll go through um, while I'm and later on in the video after I'm done painting the yellow, um, the story behind them. Um, first off, the colors you're going to need is you'll need a base coat of Chaos Black. Um, you're going to need Vomit Brown, that's a very important color. Uh, golden Yellow, Sunburst Yellow, uh, Blazing Orange, Skull White, Chainmail, and Regal Blue. Alright, as far as brushes go, um, if you can afford nice brushes, um, it helps a lot. But um, all I've got here is a. Uh, this is what I do a majority of my painting with. Um, my base coat with this. I do my, you know, my yellows, my vomit brown, all of the large areas covered with it. Um, slightly smaller brush because um, I, I dry brush all of my highlighting and shading, so that's for medium dry brushing, and I use this for finer dry brushing. Um, this one I use for basically the eyes and in tight spots, that's pretty much it. Um, you really don't need expensive brushes if you can't afford them. These purple ones here, I've got a pack of probably seven different sizes of these junk brushes for like two bucks at Walmart. And that's pretty much what I use for everything, so you don't need to spend too much on them. Alright, the first step is to undercoat the model. Um, this one's already undercoated in black. Um, for uh, a deeper yellow like this, um, if you want like a, a darker yellow like that, you're going to want to undercoat them in black or dark brown. Um, if you can get, if you spray them, um, if you can get a spray that kind of creates like a powdery look as opposed to a completely smooth look, um, that would be ideal for painting something thin like yellow or red. Um, if not, it might just take an extra coat of vomit brown. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do after you prime it in black is you're going to want to go over everything that's going to be yellow with uh, vomit brown. So all those kind of disgusting, muddy looking color spots there, that's all a very thin layer of vomit brown just to kind of create a base to paint off of. Um, it, it goes on really splotchy because the surface is too smooth after priming. Um, and vomit brown's still relatively thin, so you can still see black through the layer there. So what we're going to do now is do a second coat of vomit brown. Okay, now I've finished my second coat of vomit brown. You can see it shows up a lot better now. Um, one thing to mention with thin colors like vomit brown, with yellow, with red gore, or blood red, um, is you want to make sure when you're putting on your coats of these thin colors, that the previous coat is always always make sure it is 100% dry before you go to put on um, another coat. If you try to dab some more on there while the other one is still drying, you're going to just drag around all of the paint that was already on it, and you're going to see spots of your undercoat through it. Um, you, you really need to make sure you get a good job uh, letting them dry before you add a second coat. Um, right now, we're ready to move on to our golden yellow and uh, we're going to do one or two coats of that. All right, I'm going to record just a little bit of this first coat of golden brown going on so you can see um, how much the vomit brown helps it actually cover and um, how much just one coat will do since you have the vomit brown base under it. kind of go over it really quickly, really lightly, because um, you're going to do one more coat of this. 
But just to give you an idea, um, not sure if you can see that really well, but um, it's already turning out um, to be pretty yellow in comparison. It's a nice solid coat, you can't see through it too well. Alright, this is after that one or two quick coats of um, the golden yellow. It's actually really, really, a really nice yellow right now. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush edge with um, sunburst yellow here. Um, and uh, what I tend to do on the shoulder pads is I make the lighter colors towards the center the most, um, going up into white, and leave the edges the darker color. Um, I don't do a whole lot of inks right now. Um, probably only going to be doing one ink on this model, so. Um, just go ahead and dry brush edge this one. If you haven't noticed, um, this is my paper towel that I do all of my dry brushing with. Um, it's basically just a sheet of latex now from all the times I've used it, but um, definitely gets a paper towel to dry off the paint with. Alright, now that I've done the uh, little bit of dry brushing here with, um, with the sunburst yellow, we're going to need to go ahead and do the same thing with Skull White. Um, you probably can't really see it, it's not super noticeable, but there's a slight color change there on the shoulder pad from the center to the outside edge. Um, and that's the kind of look you're going for with uh, the, the, the sunburst yellow and the white, is just to make a slight difference in shading to that is not extremely noticeable, but um, it makes the model look more realistic. So this, um, this dry brushing here with the white, um, this kind of shading stuff is probably going to be one of the hardest parts to um, to learn. Um, you just want to make sure that there's a little bit of white paint in your brush, um, enough that you can kind of roughly go over everything and you're only going to get a little bit showing up. Um, this is probably going to take a little bit of practice. Um, I tend to dry brush more on there than I need so that it's a little bit too noticeable because by the I've noticed that by the time I get around to to sealing my models but I'm completely done with them. Um, I've handled them enough that some of it has rubbed off. So you just kind of want to quickly go over it with the with the white like we did with the sunburst yellow to give the edges just a a little bit extra make them a little bit more noticeable. Alright if you look here you can kind of see um, how the shoulder pads go from really dark to um, it's pretty light. Uh, it's a, important spots to really make sure you get a nice edge on are flat surfaces, like flat edges, like on the bottom of the leg right before the foot there. Alright, this concludes how to paint yellow. Um, the second part to this is going to be how to finish painting my Emperor's Canaries. I'm going to show you the decals I use and talk about how I printed the decals. And then I'll make a separate video for water slides. Um, and also go into a little history of the Emperor's Canaries. Thanks for watching.